All right, I am coming to you with the next part of our video stream from Gaming Club. So there might be a little bit of noise in the background. I apologize for that. Let's get going. We're going to do the lampshade part of our video. What we're going to do is we are going to do a spline tracing the line that goes down here, get to the corner, draw it back, and then we're going to use a lathe tool to turn our 2D drawing into a 3D radial arc. So let's start with a new line. So go to create, second panel here, and we have our line tool. Um, I'm going to keep it on, I don't know, let's, let's just do corners and bezier. So, um, and actually I can shut off my line one for now. We're going to start, I want to start here. So I'm going to zoom in from the corner and I'm just from the middle of my, my plane here. I'm going to click over and all right. First thing with this one, we don't want, I'm going to hit escape. I don't want this rendering with thickness in my viewport. So I'm going to turn off this enable and render and viewport for this specific line that we're drawing here and let's try it one more time start in the middle now i'm gonna go here okay and if i drag this down it puts this in there but i don't want that sharp curve so i'm going to have to okay if now if i press the button I can change this angle and I'm depressing the button as I draw this. So some of these corners I can put in there and I can go back and adjust them with my Bezier curve next in the future. So here I'm going to also click and hold down so I can drag this corner around. But see, that's not going to help me. So I'm just going to let go of that. And maybe I'll just do these as corners. So I'll let you spice this up a little bit, put it in as, as you need. But even if you have a little bit of a curve on there, it's going to drop it in as a Bezier curve and you don't have to convert those later. So I will let you figure out how you want to do that. But basically we want a nice trace around here. Okay, so do we need that many? Probably not, but the cleaner this part of the drawing is, then the less tweaking you're going to have to do later. So I'll let you choose if you want to have more vertices or more curves on here. So well, if you notice, looks like kind of works to put the vertice in the middle of, of where you want the curve. I kind of want this curve here. So I'm going to click on here and drag down a little bit. And then when I let go, I can finish off adjusting this curve. Okay, so play with it. You're going to have to still kind of add your own changes in here. Okay, so when you get it all done... That's not going to work to go way back here. It looks like to do this, I'm just going to have to do a small chunk at a time. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, 
And I could go a little faster, but just want to make sure you get the hang of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out what's the middle spot of here. And it looks like it's kind of visually cutting this in half. So I want this nice and straight. Drag this over to the middle. Click one time. Don't drag it. I want a sharp corner here. Then I'm going to go up to this first initial yellow box. Click on it. It should say close my spline. All right. Close my spline. Yes. So that gives me a full uh, redundant object or rounded out object. Let's go through and modify this real quick. You're going to change any of these angles up. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Change it to vertices so it lets you do it. If some of the ones you want to change aren't Bezier curves, you'll know they are if they have the green boxes here. Okay. And if they're not, then right click on it and change it to a Bezier curve here. Um, and maybe this would have worked fine with the regular spline drawing or smoothing curves, but either way. Looks like this one is not a Bezier. So let's change this one. We can smooth this out a little bit. Okay, so go through, make some adjustments. Remember, if you need to add another, let's say I wanted to add another vertices here. Okay, I can't just, I can do it here and I can go divide, but what it's going to do anyways is it's going to grab that and it's going to change this to a segment. So I really have to ch change that to a segment. Then I can divide a segment. I can't divide a vertices. And then it puts this vertices in there. So then you can go back and readjust this one because the other ones on both sides were um, Bezier curves that kept it that way. All right. So let's say I'm all 100% happy with the way this looks. Here is the next part. Let's do this real quick. We're looking at, um, well, we're going to leave off here. Okay. We got this ready. We're going to add a modifier next when we come back, but then we have to clean it up. So we're going to finish here. We have our spline drawn. We are ready to turn this into a 3D shape. See you back in the next one. And we will continue to turn a flat object into something in the 3D world. Thanks for joining me in today's draw, and we will see you in the next one.